Today we want to talk about dealing with grief as I had earlier told you. So how do exactly do you go through the stages? What are the signs to look out for? How do you help someone who's going through grief? These are some of the questions that we're going to answer today. And if you have any question that you'd like us uh, to talk about, uh, talk to us at y 254 channel using the hashtag Y in the morning. So the guest joining us is a counselor. She's not new here. Uh, she's called Zipora Wanyeki. Karibu sana, Zipora. Glad to have you back. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Long time. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But you're good. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. You're good. Thank God. Glad to see you. Mm -hmm. So, um, we want to talk about grief. So, for what is grief, really? Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Stephanie. Um, the simplest uh, terminology we can use to describe grief, mm -hmm. it is intense, intense sorrow that is caused all that is felt mm -hmm. by anyone who is mourning who has been left by uh, a beloved one so okay. that feeling of intense solo that mm -hmm. hollowness that emptiness that you know sadness is what you call grief okay yes so it's the intense sorrow caused by the loss yes, of a yes. loved one mm -hmm. and uh, is it only uh, lost by death that causes grief oh no when we are de defining grief eh, i want you to, to know that uh, loss is not just loss of life mm -hmm. it can be loss of property you 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 had a very nice building and then all of a sudden it collapsed mm -hmm. you're seeing buildings Demolish collapsing it. all over isn't it yeah. that is loss and those people are going to mourn just the normal way other people mourn eh? okay it can be loss of status probably maybe you were married and then uh, uh the husband asked for divorce or the, the wife. Mm -hmm. So you've lost your status. Maybe in a job, you are demoted. Mm -hmm. It's loss. You will mourn. Maybe okay. loss of you, uh, or something like, um, like what? Relationship, a friend. Loss of a pet. You know, okay. in the Western, people mourn <laughs> the pets. <laughs> so they can imagine grief. our own. <laughs> you don't mind about the dogs moving. Uh, uh, yeah, they mourn their pets. Wow. Yeah, so okay. that is loss. So loss can be in many forms, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not just a uh, loss of life. But maybe today we want to deal with uh, probably yeah. loss of life. Yes. You've so seen I've people have lost life all over here, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you had stories in Mombasa and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, by the time those people come to fathom what is happening in their lives, they realize that they are stuck. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want you to know that uh, when we shall be dealing with that later, uh, depending on how well you're supported, you can move on or you can get stuck. Okay. Yeah, so loss is something that people should not joke with. And people should not come and tell you, umelia sana, umelia sana. Stephanie, si muacha mm. You know, Kenyans, we, we, we do things innocently and we, we want to help in mm. all ways possible. But your helping is in the wrong way. Worsening the situation. Worsening the situation. When you go to Bari and you're comforting the, 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 the morning people and you're telling them, watch her pumzike. He's in a better place. You know, mm. none of those statements will sink to mm -hmm. anyone who is mourning. Okay. Telling them that it is well, oh, watch her pumzike. After all, he was an old man. Uh, that's Doesn't very wrong. Mm. Yeah, so loss is loss. Okay, and we mourn it the proper way. And let me tell you, you better mourn your loss. Why, why is it important to, to mourn? There's a difference between mourning mm -hmm. and grieving. Okay, more or less the same. Because we, we, when mm -hmm. we use the word grief, we are attaching emotions to it. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mourning is the whole process. Now, okay. people who do not mourn, what they do, they pile those emotions they pile them you know at the back of your subconscious that is where your memories the good ones and the bad ones are piled when you don't mourn a loved one these are the people who have the, the most difficult time healing they don't believe and mm -hmm. that is why you have i, I think you've been to the barrio uh, mm -hmm. maybe of a close person and you realize that at the morgue they will come and uh, as difficult as it is, they allow the family members to be the ones, you know, to, 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 to lock the coffin, you know, drive the, the, the last nail, and you wonder, why are they torturing them? Why, why, why must you insist that they be the ones to throw the soil? It's very important. Very important. Okay. It is making them. It is the beginning of the their closure. healing. Uh -huh. And it is bringing the closure. It is the beginning of bringing, you know, this person will know after all to do a kahuyu mutu langata. Mm. So I am not waiting for this person to come, to come back, back to us. Otherwise, if somebody dies and is buried mm. and you're not involved in the whole process, yeah. at the back of your mind, you will keep on imagining that they are coming back to you. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you don't move on. Okay. So yes. mourning is key. In it is key. 
your recovery very process. important and for someone who's uh maybe can't moan or i don't know if there's a standard on how mourning should be done mm -hmm. you know you've mentioned the throwing of the soil uh, uh -huh. you know mm -hmm. but someone who's sometimes your loved one dies mm -hmm but you're somewhere very far, let's mm -hmm. say in the US and you can't travel to, mm -hmm. to Kenya that time. Mm -hmm. So will you have, how will you mourn? Oh, there are different ways of mourning because nowadays I see uh, with the social media era, everything is online, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So you realize that even during that uh, barrier process, it was live there was live streaming so you are able to see even while you went there they can even make for you a very nice video they view the body you are part of the whole process okay. the only dis uh, difference between you and us is that we are physically here and you are away but mm -hmm. you are part of the whole process okay. you are part of the whole process you viewed the body as they were viewing but online you did everything okay it's not the best way possible but still it has Please. made you believe okay. that this person is indeed gone uh -huh. Yeah, so you, you part and parcel of everything. And even long after that, I, I'll, I'll come and uh, discuss the coping strategies of this person yeah. who has been left. Because mm -hmm. they are, you, you just have to, you know, morning you have to be patient with yourself. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people, Stephanie, mourn your way, mourn your style. If your style of mourning is rolling on the ground and, and you know, doing all those things, do you? Yeah, yeah, do them. The only thing to tafanya and kuakikisha you don't hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. But mourn, cry. You know, I, I was listening to your former debate saying these things have been tasked their eyebrows and their whatnot. <laughs> I'm sure you've been to these funerals eh? yeah. and you realize that people have really, you know, tons of makeups on them yeah. and I have nothing against it. Eh? Mm -hmm. I also do makeup. Eh? And so because you do not want to yeah. destroy them, you're mourning and you're having your handkerchief with you <laughs> and you're doing like you're this. Oh my God. Making sure you don't <laughs> hurt. I, you, I you don't. Uh, you don't that's not mourning. That's pretense. Wow. That's hypocrisy. Okay. I call it hypocrisy. There's no way you'll be mourning your mother or your father or your child or Why your husband or wife for, for, for that matter. And you're carrying this kind of handkerchief mm -hmm. to make sure are you, if, if you're still careful that your eyebrows mm -hmm. will you're come out, mourning, yeah. you're not mourning. Okay. You are not. <laughs> Mourn your style. Where are you going to go to the house? Or where are you going to go to Yeah, that is mourning. All right. Mm. And the, for the people that are usually very protective of letting out, you know, showing their emotions Emotion, to others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do they mourn? Or is it, should they be vulnerable at that time? Because there are people who naturally oh, can't yes. be vulnerable to yes, others. Yes, yes. I began by telling you, mourn your own style. Mm -hmm. You see, our African culture, you agree with me that we are patriarchal. Mm -hmm, patriarchal true. society is whereby men dominate. Mm -hmm. And uh, as this child is growing up, you keep on telling them, Wanaume hua wali wewe. <laughs> so this cowboy grows up knowing that you are not supposed to cry. Mm -hmm. But now in the event where your mother is dead, what else are we supposed to do? Cry. So unaona huyo mm. mtu umenyamaza ni mishipa tu ya damu you are mm. seeing the veins here forming. You are kidding yourself and that is why statistically men die earlier than mm. women. Mm -hmm. Because women have ways of venting out their emotions. Umeenda chama mumeongea ongea. Umeenda salon mumeongea ongea. This man is quiet, alone, alone, Boy. not talking. Mm -hmm. If they have to talk about anything, watasema the high cost of living, <laughs> maandamano, sijui nini. Politics. They, uh, yeah, politics. They may not really discuss what is really ailing them. Mm -hmm. So even as a man, mourn. We are not there to judge. Mm -hmm. At uri, at ni monome. Yes, time, you know, we are not cry babies. We don't cry every other time. But when the situation demands that you cry, cry. please do. Mm -hmm. It helps. Be vulnerable at that Kabisa, time. Kabisa, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what are the signs of someone who's grieving? Yeah, there are the things that uh, we look at, uh, especially when we are uh, dealing with uh, grief counseling. Mm -hmm. uh, grief counseling and is actually very important. We, we, we tell our Kenyans, don't just wake up, bury your parent or your guardian or somebody close to you, mm -hmm. and then on Monday, we may a job. You've not healed. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you need to go through the whole process. Some of the things that we look at to know someone is mourning. Number one, this person has no energy lack of energy mm -hmm. you feel at a magoti it cannot support mm -hmm. your body mm -hmm. you feel you don't have energy to do anything two lack of appetite you could have you feel like nothing excites you anymore Hutaki kukula. Even, your bill, even your favorite meal anymore. you don't want to eat other than that some people will be the opposite increased appetite ah. oh yeah the people when they are stressed eh? Mm -hmm. the, the stress hormone can either make you be on the extreme. You're eating too much or okay. you are depriving yourself. Okay. So someone can be eating like crazy. Umekula tu kukula and you're not feeling it. Eh? Mm -hmm. And um, other than that, there's a, a, a feeling of tightness in the chest. 
unasikia tu you are congested mm. you you want to release emotions but you do you're not sure to who mm -hmm. you just feel like kuna mzigo in your chest eh? yeah. and then in your stomach this some hollowness you feel like your whole stomach is empty mm. uh, this is a sign of anxiety Okay. Yeah, when someone is anxious, siji kama usha yenda kusema poem in, uh, at the regional levels and you're the one standing there yes. and 1,000 people are looking I at you. Eh? How are you feeling in your stomach? Butterflies in the stomach Butterfly. and everything. Mm. Now that is a sign of anxiety. Anxiety, first of all, is felt inside your stomach, mm. in your belly. That is why some people will have some running stomach when mm -hmm. they are very anxious. Eh? So anxiety sets in. This person is very, very um, uh, anxious. You're not sure how to believe, how to behave in anymore you're not sure on the barrier day what will happen how mm. will i behave what you know, you are anxious other than that we always say that this person is sensitive highly sensitive to noise Ataki kelele. Remember you're dealing okay. with someone whose emotions are upside down. Mm -hmm. So doesn't want noise, doesn't want TV, doesn't want radio or anything, anything, anything. Just a calm environment. Calm environment. Most of them will tend to sleep more. You know, sleeping has a way of, um, you know, soothing you. Mm -hmm. You feel like it is ending your problems. Mm -hmm. But again, we'll tell you, in as much as coping strategies, getting quality sleep is good, eh? too much of it is not good. Yeah, yeah it, it will now be damaging you. Okay. So while this person is mourning, you are able to look at these signs, you see that this person emotionally is just not balanced. Mm -hmm. You're not there. You have no mood. You, you, you tend not to talk to people. You feel like you want to keep to yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, you're depressed, you're stressed, anger, you know, at the slightest provocation, you you're feel angry, angry because your whole system is not well. Mm -hmm. Those are some of the signs that this someone is griefing, this sign of the grief. Okay. Yeah. Before we get to the stages of mm. griefing, because mm -hmm. I also know that there are stages, are there mm. si not signs, mm. types of uh, grief? Oh yeah, yeah, they are quite quite a number. Uh, we may not be able to go through all of them, but oh, we can just highlight them. a few. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, there's one grief we call normal grief. Uh -huh. Normal, just the normal one. Yeah. We expect that you've received news so and so is dead, mm -hmm. so and so has left us. And and for purposes of this conversation, uh, uh, the medics. Uh, and even the counselors, we don't, you know, sugarcoat information because you want to hammer information right into uh. you. So we don't come telling you, um, I'm a tuacha. You know, that could mean has gone to the supermarket and <laughs> back, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you have to use the right word. Your baby is dead. dead. Ooh, that's, that's harsh as it sounds. Mm. The doctors will not come here telling you, oh, unfortunately, he has gone to be with the Lord. No. Oh, what if saying. the Lord is uh, Yesu Watongaren? <laughs> <laughs> you believe he'll be there and back. So wow. they have to use words that are harsh and, and, and that will, uh, you know, impact. That you will believe that sure, sure enough, Dr. Yalisema. Mm. So uh, we have the normal grief. When you receive news, uh, so and so is dead, you feel that sign of loss, you go through the morning, that is just the normal grief. Mm -hmm. And after some time, you're done. You're done with the griefing. Uh, we have another grief we call chronic. Chronic. Grief. Oh. Meaning, imeendelea kwa muda murefu sana. You know, like chronic illnesses. Eh? Uh -huh. So this person has not been able to grieve the normal way. You've been grieving for one month, two months, three months. You know, okay. We do not have a specific amount of time. Yeah, I wanted to ask, is there a specific period of grief? No, 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 not really. Mm. We don't have specific amount of time that we allocate for grief. Why? Grief is so individualized. It's so personalized, right? For example, um, if you look at somebody, depending on the closeness between the person uh, who has died and this person who is left. For example, it's a, it's a spouse, it's a child, it's a parent. This person might tend to grief more. As opposed to you, who is grieving uh, your 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 great great uh, cousin, <laughs> you know, for the for the line cousin, they are at a huku na mujua vizuri. Mm -hmm. So people will tend to grieve more for closer relatives. Okay. Other than that, the cause of death, you know, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are yeah. deaths that um, have really prepared you. For example, if someone has been in the hospital for quite some time, quite some time. And uh, you, 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 you know, every day you go to the hospital, we unamuona unashtuka. Unashtuka unaona, eh, fulani, eh, ni kama atatuacha. Mm -hmm. In fact, when you see a call, you say like, ah, akisikue ni wawa na niambivo. So mm -hmm. it has somehow prepared you. It is not the same intensity with somebody who was hit by a yeah, car. He, he, a normal uh, person, healthy. Mutu walikuwa too healthy, normal, walikuwa naenda kazi zake, then was hit by a, an overspeeding car. 
and died on, on the, the spot. spot. You might, you know, mourn more. Because while this one, it prepared you. At least we yeah, call it too. anticipatory. We are coming to the third uh -huh. category, anticipatory grief. Mm. While one prepared you, the other one did not prepare you. So you might tend to, to, to mourn more. That. Think of mm. even these people uh, who have seen uh, the, the parents or the children die in a very cruel way. Mm -hmm. You know, like for example, the person was murdered. Or in a very yes raped murdered you know killed in a very brutal way mm -hmm. these people will mourn more they feel like oh my god where was i why was i not able to save this child mm -hmm. this person you feel so they'll grieve more as opposed to this other person probably who was uh, 105 years old has lived and seen the generations and everything and died peacefully yeah we come to celebrate life true because we we, we have felt like sasa tumemwachilia there's always that pain there's always that kaugumu mukiachana but of course now at 106 years up everybody says now let her rest mm. let him rest yeah. but now this death of somebody who just graduated and got his first job so sad yeah it, it becomes hard. very sad eh? mm -hmm. so we say there's no more grief there's chronic grief then we have that uh, another anticipated. Thing called the anticipated grief yeah this is somebody you're seeing deteriorating day by day okay. so every single morning you are anticipating naeza pigua simu so psychologically, psychologically prepared. you prepared that is anticipated so these people do not grieve on the material day they are told he's dead or she's dead mm -hmm. they begin grieving much earlier okay. every day munaenda unaona ako icu every day unaenda unaona condition yake mara blood level mara what what the blood pressure is misbehaving up and down wakati mwingine unaona daktari wa making up so it has prepared you way in advance mm -hmm. we call it as anticipatory grief they are quite other as we, this complicated grief okay complicated grief this is grief that you've not been able to overcome we call it complicated the moment you're going to come out of it more emotion sets in okay. the moment you're going to more emotion sets in and many more because there is even this grief where you find that uh, when you're about to finish another grief comes ah, in hits. sets in before so you compounds. finished burying your father then your mother died while you're mourning your mother, the other sister died. So this has just piled. Mm -hmm. And um, this type of people, we recommend them to a grief therapist. Did you know there's a grief therapist? No, I'm just hearing Oh, yes, the there's time. a grief. When grief cannot be handled by the mm -hmm. normal counselor, because now it has become complicated, yeah. we advocate that you go to a grief therapist. He wow. will be able or she will mm -hmm. be able to work with you through the journey mm -hmm. with all the patients in this world. Mm -hmm. Because those people, they need patients. Enough yeah. of it. And uh, for purposes of this conversation, we tell Kenyans, the much you can do to a grieving person, to a mourning person, mm -hmm. is not necessary advice. They don't need any of it. The yeah. advice is that if you have to do this, you will be able to do this. You will be able to do this. <laughs> don't give them advice. They don't. In fact, they are not listening. Mm. The much you can do is a listening ear. M at Just most, let them talk and vent. Allow them to vent. Allow them to talk. When they break down, give them a handkerchief. Listen to them. Sometimes you may not even have solutions, but you are there to listen. That's all they need. Mm -hmm. If they can repeat their stories to as many people as possible, that it is, is. their healing. They are healing okay. as they are talking. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. Uh, there's this particular one. Mm -hmm. It's. I think it's called disenfranchised griefing. Mm -hmm. The one that um, is not really acknowledged mm -hmm. or not really taken as seriously as others. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, miscarriage. Mm -hmm. And that's the type of loss still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll speak about that because I know um, I've dealt with quite a number of victims mm -hmm. in it. Eh? Let us just put it this way. Loss is loss. Doesn't matter. And what is lost to you is not what is lost to me. Mm -hmm. If you lose... 10,000, you might mourn. If another person loses 100 bob, they, they might, might you know, sweep the whole house looking for you, Mia Moja, because it mm -hmm. You get it? Eh? Yeah. So loss is loss. This person, you've given an example of someone who has suffered miscarriage. Mm -hmm. In fact, those are the people, the society has not learned how to deal with them, True. unfortunately. Picture this lady who goes to the hospital, has had a miscarriage, goes to the theater, they do the, the, the process, and then is admitted in the ward. Which ward? Maternate ward. Rather sing. Next bed is a lady who has given birth to, to twins. Mm -hmm. And the relatives are coming with a lot of unji, a lot Flowers. of uh, jahe, mm. a lot of fruits and everything. They are there. 
they are celebrating this baby. Where is your baby? So how are you supposed to be feeling? A mm. failure, you feel inadequate, you mm. feel, you know, the world is crashing, you don't want even anyone to visit you in the hospital because that's a form of loss. So mm. there are losses in the society that are not treated as loss, but indeed they are. The impact is the same. Mm -hmm. The process of mourning is, is the, the same. same. And if this person is not taken good care of, they might get to depression when we are doing the stages of loss that That's is one of the, the stages next one, yes, yes yes so tell us the stages now the stages eh? yeah. there was this uh, american psychologist called kubra ross mm -hmm. uh, kubra ross came up with the stages of uh, loss and was able to analyze all the patients that came to him they were going through the same stage the first one we call it uh, denial mm -hmm. denial the moment you receive a phone call and you're told ah so and so is dead the first thing your ego will do is to deny. Like, you say no. No. Way. no. It can't mm. happen. Mm. We just talked this morning it to young about traffic. Mm -hmm. It can't happen. I served them food yesterday night. It yeah. can't happen. So the first thing is to deny. You deny and deny and deny. It is a way the ego, you know, you know, we, we, we call them the ego defensive mechanism. Mm -hmm. It's a way the ego protects itself. So the first one is denial. Okay. The moment you deny and deny, or even, let's even talk about people with chronic illness. Someone comes and tells you, ah, your, 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 your parent or someone close to you has cancer. The first thing is to say no. It's, no, 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 no. It can't and happen. in fact, you even hate that hospital and you want to <laughs> seek another opinion from a different Hosp medic. Yeah. A different hospital and, and practitioner. So you will come to believe way later when you had mm -hmm. it, maybe the third or the fourth time. Mm -hmm. So deny is the first stage. Most people, when they receive the news of loss, they deny. Mm -hmm. After denial, which might take hours to several days, they realize that it's not going to be able to for burial preparation. Mm -hmm. Now you go to the second stage, anger. You deny, then you go to anger. Anger, you're very angry. Angry You are person, angry at, at everyone. This is where this person, when I'm, I'm consoling someone, uh, depending on the questions they are asking me, I'm able to assess what stage they are at. Okay. So if you meet this person who is telling you, but me, I know, where, where was God? Mm -hmm. So you know that person God, is in the second what stage. What kind of sin had I done that you did not reveal to me that my so and so is dying? Mm. That person is in anger stage. Okay. They are angry at God for mm. taking away their beloved one. Then they are angry at situations. They are angry at people. Mm -hmm. If it was a nurse who was maybe giving medication, why didn't you give enough medication? You know, they yeah. feel like you're the one who failed. Uh -huh. They are angry at the ambulance which maybe could have been driven faster to save the life. They are angry at everyone that was in the scenario. Yeah. So this is the stage blame comes in. When someone is angry, and uh, we always tell people, while you can judge other people in their sober mind, do not judge any statement made by a mourning person. Okay. Because if, for example, Stephanie, you're married, and, and, and uh, God forbid, eh, so you're married and the husband dies, eh, the mother-in-law, mm -hmm. in the process of mourning, will accuse you. And they, it's something that usually happens. It happens. It's very common culture. in the society. Yeah. So this is something. When you know, you are kidding, you make And you tried your best. Maybe it is only one day you are late to prepare a meal, and and and, and, and maybe uh, she gets to find out that you are late in preparing a meal. But at some point, you die. Me mumu ananja. Are you getting it? Eh? Mm -hmm. So do not blame them. They are only trying. You know, when something happens, you trying to. Ninani at Abeba, you blame. Mm -hmm. It has to be on it has someone. To be someone. Mm -hmm. Just to be someone who will carry the blame. So they'll, they'll, they'll accuse the doctors, the hospital, the Care ambulance, the what? Mm -hmm. They are angry. Mm -hmm. After anger, because, they, and, and, and I always tell people, when you're going to console a person, uh, preaching to them may not work. At that time, it won't, no, it, it won't work. They are angry at God. They are not sure whether they want to hear anything else from that God. Mm -hmm. who has really made them be bruised. So they may not even listen to your sermon because mm. they have issues with this God you're preaching. Yeah. So <laughs> after you're done with anger, you go to the third stage. We call it bargaining. Okay. Bargaining stage. And bargaining may start way earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in anticipated grief, where you're seeing someone is deteriorating, the condition is being bad every day. While they're bargaining, they might come and say something like, Mungu, 
God, if you, you know, if you preserve so and so's life, I will I'll do serve this. you forever. Yeah. And this is when you give all the promises in this world. Mm -hmm. God, if you preserve this person, God, if only you bring us our baby back, I, I will, will do this you. and this and That's this. You know, life. you promise from here to Timbuktu and back, but you're only bargaining. You're only bargaining. Mm. But after your bargaining stage, all these stages I've told you, they are not long. They are short Very periods. Short. The longest period mm. of them all is what we call depression. Oh. So you started with anger, I mean, uh, um, you started with uh, denial, denial. And you and came anger, to anger, anger you bargained, you realized it's not working. So you come to what we call depression. And uh, depression is the fourth stage, and it is the longest in mourning period. Mm -hmm. It can last even away from, uh, depending on how well you supported, it can be six to eight weeks. Okay. And but is it a stage that everyone uh, has to go through? Yes. It's a s Everybody. Okay. As long as this person, you know, it's when you're talking about mourning, like for example, right here you're here, you hear somebody dying in Shakahola. Probably because you don't know them, you have not mourned them. Mm -hmm. But the people who are in the immediate, you know, the immediate From relatives, mm -hmm. neighbors and friends, they mourn. They have to go through this stage. Mm -hmm. You get it, eh? And so, um, while you are at depression, this is now when the height comes. I, and I started by saying, even biblically people used to mourn for 40 days, mm -hmm. uh, according to the Holy Scriptures. Eh? Okay. But now, that does not mean that that is all. That is what they recorded, maybe in the law of Moses or something like that. Mm -hmm. There are people who will mourn for one month, two months, three months, six months. One year down the line, they are still mourning. Mm -hmm. But now I always tell people, depending on your support system, because if you are well uh, supported, mm -hmm. you will outgrow depression mm -hmm. quicker than, than somebody with no support. Mm -hmm. All right? And I have also seen somebody, this is a stage that can destroy you actually. It is very, very essential. If you do not mourn the right way, you realize that um, these people, I have seen a case whereby uh, a, a, a young man uh, lost a brother, a twin brother, and uh, you know the way our culture is, ah, jikaze ki mwanaume. So I'm talking about not just a brother, a twin. Mm -hmm. Twin. Someone you're twin connected brother. with. Yani, mulilala nae kwa tumbo moja at the same time mkatoka wakati moja. Mm -hmm. So you people, you are intertwined like this. And the, 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 the child dies, the, the, the boy dies and they're in high school. This boy did not, the remaining twin did not get the right support. And because of that, he deteriorated his grades and his everything. Not only did they lose him because now where he is, he is, I don't know, we call it psychotic or narcosis, but he is nikama amechizi out of his own way. Yes. Uh -huh. he, he was not able to console himself, compose himself back to life. Mm. He did not move on. So that oh. guy is seen and alala kwa mtaro, and alokota karatasi, and everything and everything. So it can be that bad. Somebody was healthy but did not get the right support system. Mm -hmm. You get it, eh? So, while you're at depression, one of the things you feel is emptiness. Very empty. A hollowness in your stomach. Mm -hmm. You have no good reason to wake up the following morning. Mm -hmm. You have no proper reason why you would want to wake up and go to work. Why? Work for who? While you're what at depression the of stage, life? Uh -huh. Yes. While you're at depression stage, you realize that uh, life is meaningless. Uh, some a vanity of vanity. Mm -hmm. You realize that... Uh, um, I was supposed to, you know, these people do like this, eh? they wake up, mm -hmm. maybe if it's a husband who has died, uh, they prepare the water, the shower and everything, they put the suit there, the iron, they put the shoes there, and oh. then they realize, ah, he's not, he's not there. there. Oh. Then they cry themselves out. Oh. Are you realizing? Mm -hmm. So they are now feeling the impact, the emptiness. And this is where I tell people, mm -hmm. part of coping strategies, do not be very quick to make a major move. Major move like, for example, you want to now fit in the shoes of this person. I, I, I know of people mm -hmm. whose their parent, their mother died in 2016. And it is this year, 2023 that they have managed to go and put their mother's items together, the clothes, and donate them. Wow. Nobody was ready to go and open that wardrobe. How do you take your clothes immediately? Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? Eh? Mm -hmm. So do, be patient with yourself while you're mourning. So at this stage of mourning, you feel empty. You feel, you know, you're depressed. Mm -hmm. There's no hope. You feel hopeless. Okay. You don't feel like you have the energy to do anything, not to eat, not to watch movie, not to go out. You don't want friends. 
you want to keep to yourself now this is a very dangerous stage and on that mm -hmm. for someone who has a child let's say you've lost the breadwinner that's the man of the home yes you yourself as a mom you're going through depression and mm -hmm. then there's a kid there mm -hmm. so how do you even let the kid mm -hmm. go through the grief process mm -hmm. should they be told the truth because some you know in the african setup or some mm -hmm. ah, we are men like you know you don't mm -hmm. tell the kid your dad is no more he's never coming mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. so how how do you handle such very a situation? important and thank you for that question mm -hmm. let the child be part of this mourning process let them know let them, just the way we engage our children the moment you have a new member in the family yeah. you 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 let them be part of it they own that they have a small brother or a small sister mm -hmm. a new baby at home you let them own that process so that they don't feel their rights are you know <laughs> yeah they're being infringed as the, the, the acting <laughs> last born. <laughs> yeah you you let them own the whole process so that they can love the baby let them own the whole process of mourning okay it is okay to cry and tell them i'm crying because so and so let let them mourn. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they will come to hate you way later, or you realize it in class as their performance is deteriorating because you did not even allow them. Sure. They, they also have as many questions as you have. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's no much difference between an adult and a child. Maybe the brain capacity, okay. but they have the same emotions. They are mourning. They are feeling. They are not seeing their daddy or their mother. So allow them to be process of the mourning. It okay. is going to view the body. Let them view the body. Okay. It is going for that process where people come for devotion, for prayers and everything. Let them be there. Mm -hmm. It is doing a, um, an eulogy. Involve them. And they are write writing something. what they are going to read there. Allow them to be part of it. Let them mourn so that as you are healing, they are also healing. Okay. Otherwise, you might pretend that you want to protect them while you heal. They start theirs. Okay. And so you will never come out of that grief. All right. Yes. Now, um, this all this process before we now we get us to the coping mechanism mm -hmm. for us to finish and by the way mm -hmm. after you're done with the depression mm -hmm. you will now go to the last stage which is we call it acceptance uh -huh. so anyone who has undergone depression successively irrespective of the amount of time you've taken you go to acceptance acceptance is where you feel like uh, my husband was a pastor eh? now he was running a church eh? the congregation is there eh? i'm now the incoming pastor you uh -huh. fit in in the shoes. He was an MD in a certain company. Hey, now I'm the new MD. Uh -huh. He was uh, the CEO of this. Uh, he was running this business. I'm now the new uh, uh, person in this business. In so you move on. Uh -huh. you, you agree now that uh, he has gone and he's not coming back to us. No, life has to continue. That is acceptance. Right. But if there are people who will uh, uh, be stuck at depression stage and that is it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so if you get help, you will move to acceptance stage. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask about um, the mourning process, all the stages. Yes. I know some come earlier, mm -hmm. but do, does most of it come after you've buried your loved one? Because mm -hmm. I know before you bury the loved one, there's a lot of support that people will get. Yeah, yeah. People visiting every, you know, every evening, there's mm -hmm. tea, mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. people in the house, it's yeah. full. And then after the burial, mm -hmm. you're usually alone, back mm -hmm. to normal, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And you, I think uh, reality sets in. Oh, so yeah. is it worse after? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it becomes worse after. Mm -hmm. During this time, okay, denial will come the moment you realize you've been given the news, you're bargaining and you're everything. But reality hits you after. Unona pale watu wa mwechanga. And then after that, you know we are Kenyans, eh? And we, we, we do everything in haste. Eh? So to memorize the mchanga, we are very hungry, we are looking for food. Yeah. What wa Nairobi, Chakureni, uh, Kwaapa, Siji, Nini, Kwaile Tent, Mukimaliza, Ivo, Mukokwa Magari, Mnaenda. So done. by the end of the day, people start leaving one after the other. What wa Nairobi, what wa Naondoka, eh, Auntie Siji wa Moranga, Amenda, Siji Shangazi wa Wapi, Mujoba na watoto wake wa Amenda. By the end of the day, now you are left alone mm. to sink, to synthesize that information. You come out of your house, you see a fresh grave outside mm. there. That is when the reality sinks. Mm. So depression and these stages, most of them will come way after. That is when the weight of the matter is. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Yeah. Now, how, how does one cope? Coping With strategies. This, yes. yes. And actually, this is very important. Mm -hmm. So that we are able to tell people, even those people who are called to identify their bodies. And, you know, it's, it's very sad. It, sure. It's very sad. Very sad. Uh, I always imagine, the, you know, you can never, never tell somebody that I understand. You can never you can understand never somebody's understand. pain. You can't. You can only imagine. So I try to imagine their pain, your code to identify your, you know, your, your, loved, your, your, your one. loved one there is not a very good sight. Now, one of the coping strategies that we tell people is, number one, agree to mourn. Mm -hmm. Agree to mourn. 
take it and believe it that it has happened and we are going to mourn it. That is one strategy. Agree that it has happened. Mm -hmm. Then, number two, we always tell people, be part of a support group. Support. Support means it could be your family, mm -hmm. uh, you could be coming together, you hold devotion, you pray, as you eulogize and remember the, 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 the departed person. Mm -hmm. So as part of a family, be part of a support group. Mm -hmm. By support group, I mean, uh, like you've always had kuna uh, wajane, the, the, the women who oh, are yeah. widows, they come Leaders. together, mm -hmm. they have an organization. Then you can also be part of a support group whereby you, 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 are, you join other people who are also similarly having similar experiences. Okay. And believe me, Stephanie, the moment you listen one, two, three, four, five, six people's experiences, you realize that yours was better. Mm -hmm. For everybody, Become... there's a worse one. <laughs> true, so you true. realize that uh, you has died and uh, was buried and that was it. Uyu uh, alikufa. There On top of Kufa, mm. uh, he was maybe probably HIV, so the wife was left with it, or the husband was left with it, so he's been left with the condition, and also some children to nurse. Yeah, All right? So this one died and left a court case. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? Mm -hmm. So the moment you analyze several cases, you realize I, you're is better, you're better off. off. And mm. it helps you soothing your ego and in healing process. Eh? Mm -hmm. I always tell people, uh, other than support group, eh, it is good that you program yourself in a way that you can do a journal. Mm -hmm. Write a journal. Write your feelings. Record what you're feeling that day towards that person. Record the beautiful memories you mm -hmm. had with this person. Like maybe uh, one time he took us to the beach, another time she maybe paid for a flight to where, you know, there are beautiful memories we had with the departed. Write them down. It's mm. part of healing. It's part okay. of healing. Mm -hmm. If you have his pictures with you and you are okay, I'm using the word if you are okay, because most people are not okay. They don't even want to see that photo. Yeah. If you can keep an album of the beautiful places we visited together, the better. Okay. It's part of, you know, healing and accepting that he is gone. Mm -hmm. Occasionally, maybe at the end of uh, every year, you can do an anniversary. Mm -hmm. But again, you have to be, be prepared. Anniversary might trigger some mm -hmm. emotions that you had. Yeah. So that is the time you need enough support, enough, mm -hmm. enough support out of it. Eh? Yeah. And uh, of course, we tell people above every other thing, there are many other things that you can do because part of it is taking care of yourself. Mm -hmm. In fact, it should come as number one. To make sure you take, take care your, of yourself, eat you well, look, mm -hmm. eat a balanced diet. Make look sure good. you're feeding well. Because if you don't feed well, mm -hmm. illnesses comes in. I always tell people that uh, dealing with um, uh, grief or mm -hmm. mourning uh, butters your immune system. Yeah. I don't know whether you knew that uh, there is a, a syndrome we call heart, uh, heartbreak syndrome. No. It's a syndrome that comes to people who are mourning, dealing with loss. It has similar um, characteristics and similar symptoms like a heart attack. Okay. So this person, the similar, the characteristic you would see in a heart attack yeah, are with things. this person because they are mourning. So allow your body to heal, eat well, sleep well. Mm -hmm. You know, do exercises if you are able, just the simple ones. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you're not now able to cope with all this, see a counselor, okay. see a therapist. Let them walk you through that journey. Be part of a devotion. Be praying for the person, for everything, for your inner healing. You know, mm -hmm. being part of doing devotion helps in inner healing. Okay, yes. amazing. Mm. Finally, mm -hmm. for the people that you know, it, sometimes it's hard to know how to handle someone dealing with grief, and mm -hmm. you've alluded to it several times, mm -hmm. Ali. But maybe you can, you know, <laughs> put some more emphasis on it. Mm -hmm. What should someone? do when you have someone grieving could mm -hmm. be a friend could mm -hmm. be you know anyone mm -hmm. yeah thank you and it is very important that people may know because there are people who don't know how to treat somebody you don't know so you join the person in, 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 in crying i'm not saying it is bad but we expect that you're there the, the, the stronger person. There are scenarios that will allow you to join in crying in a way yeah. because of the, where you find yourself. Eh? Mm -hmm. But now, part of what you'll do as number one, as number one, mm -hmm. be listening. Be a listener and a good listener. Mm -hmm. Listen to this person. Let them pour themselves to you. Let them even tell you, Sasa hameenda, na ndi yalikuwa na anatuletea, si nini, ndi yalikuwa natulipia school fees, ndi yalikuwa natufanya nini. All these are their fears. So listen to them. They need somebody to listen to that. Mm -hmm. And as you're listening, do not be judgmental. 
ati we mama fulani na we umelia sana si wache apumzike no allow the person to mourn and mourn her way yeah. so be a very good listener the other thing you can do is eh, offer to do these duties this person is doing for example you come to this person uh, who is mourning and you realize that huyu atachai hajakunywa Pick a Offer child. to go to the mm -hmm. kitchen, prepare something for this person, sit the person there and drink together. Mm -hmm. Assist. Mwingine utamukuta hako kwa bed throughout, igia hata hiyo bedroom. Ongea na yeyo akiwa hapo, try to find out. You know, the way you would care for a patient is the way you would care for this person. Okay. Have you eaten? No. In fact, feed the person kama anakata. Mm. Because I have just told you, loss deals with your immune system. It brings it down, down. there. And when the immune system is down, definitely these other, you know, funny funny diseases will crop in mm -hmm. so before we don't want to deal with the morning and then with hospitalization at the same time so help this person be themselves help them clean up tidy up the house they are experiencing lots of visitors help them in you know taking care of the guests you can be sure kama munangojea huyo mama ama huyo muze ama hawa watoto ndio watapika and they are morning you will stay hungry <laughs> so true. offer offer help and i thank god because um, a uh, religious organization they comes in handy mm -hmm. wanasaidia siku za maombolezi and such yeah, mm. very true. and even way after usiachia hapo ya mumemuzika mumeenda mahali mumemwachia dio delicate go and visit this person as regularly as you can okay mm. all right there's a question my co-host had asked <laughs> And I want to, if I s to, to uh, ask that before we close. Mm -hmm. Finally, finally. Why does it come years later, grief? You, are, you think you had healed and then mm -hmm. one day you just wake up and you feel mm -hmm. terrible. Uh, I will say this. We began by saying, depending on the cause of grief, I mean the cause of death, and the relationship between the person who died and the person who is alive, depending on the relationship you had, grief intensity will either be high or low. Mm -hmm. So if you did not go through proper steps of mourning, mm -hmm. you might think you dealt with that problem mm -hmm. only to come and realize that waiter, way later it resurfaces. Yeah. So that is why we advise that go through the proper steps of mourning. Okay. For example, let's say um, maybe you had a, a court case that was to be had uh, uh, next year, July. But the person who was dealing with it has died now. Be sure that time ikifika lazima utakuwa. Your emotions will be up and down. Mm -hmm. This was the only witness we has. Now he's gone. So again you will. So depending on the, 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 the relationship, the, the, the stages, the way you are helped to cope with that person. Ukubali kabisa alienda na harudi. Mm -hmm. And now sisi ndiyo, Kenyan say sisi ndiyo tuko. So <laughs> ukubali wewe ndiyo uko. If you are not properly helped, it will always it resurface. resurface. Eh. Okay. You even hear people saying, Mi ni naka, ni naota na yeye. And mm. tunataka kukemea mapepo, siji nini, nini, the religious way. May not necessarily be that. It's just it that could be that your subconscious, you know, subconscious can, you know, make your dreams up. Eh? Mm. So you, you're really thinking so much about this person until this person appears in your, your dream. dreams. Mm. Okay, all right. Thank you very much, Zipporah. I don't Karibu. know if you have a final say as you give out your social media handle. For all, right, all right, all right. Eh? Yeah. So <clears throat> my, my final say is that um, grief is normal. Allow yourself to grieve and grieve the right way. Be patient with yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. Don't even wonder why can't I move on even after it is a month or so. Be very uh, easy on yourself. And uh, if you're not able to do it, please see a therapist. We are going to help you. Mm -hmm. So my social media um, at Twitter, I'm Wanyeki One Zipora. Uh, Facebook, Zipi Wanyeki. And uh, YouTube, Zipora Wanyeki. All right. Thank you very yes. much, Zipporah. Always a pleasure to have you share such amazing insights. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That has been Zipporah Anyeke, a counselor speaking to us about uh, dealing or coping with grief. I hope you've taken something from it. Now we're going to take a short break and then we'll be right back with entrepreneurship. All right. See you on the other side.